Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Wednesday, the 15th of September 2021. So bonds, bullion and Bitcoin jump as stocks uh, pump and dump after CPI. It's that time of the month again when uh, they didn't get uh, quite the result they wanted, but I suspect uh, there was a lot to do with uh, manipulation uh, of the actual price. US consumer prices miss expectations for the first time since October. Is uh, this merely the Delta variant's impact, creating an illusion of transitory? Uh, I would imagine so. Uh, nothing ever comes down in price. Uh, we all know that, don't we? There is a perception that fuel prices drop, but uh, we know that's not to be true over the longer term and accounting for inflation. Stocks and uh, gold spike after CPI missed, dollar nosedives. Uh, but not for long. I expect that's going to do a straight reversal today and uh, hammer the metals back to the downside. Uh, is the Fed going to taper because of inflation, which is always viewed as uh, transitory, or is uh, an even higher stock market's fragility uh, be the trigger? Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we, uh, how uh, things pan out and they absorb the news from yesterday. Uh, this is interesting. Global debt hits a record $300 trillion, or $36 trillion since COVID, and we've got the stock markets housing markets, bond markets, all at uh, all-time highs. Wonderful, isn't it? Incredible. $36 trillion in uh, 12 months uh, that was printed, not uh, 18 months since COVID started. $36 trillion. Wow. Uh, the rise in household debt has been in line with house prices in almost every major economy in the world. When this ends, it's going to end spectacularly. And it will end one day. It has to. Uh, implied volatility up uh, again, as uh, you can see uh, yesterday, uncertainty in the markets. If we have a look at the uh, Dow, uh, you can see why, because uh, it sold off after the uh, news during the afternoon session, trading down, finding support and managing to come off this. Uh, we don't really want to break this here, because if we do, then we head down here and then down to here. So they're trying to hold the market uh, at the moment, which we can see there. We have a look at the 30 minute yesterday. The news uh, was great, and then the Mark Dow opened, and then the Dow said, you know what, uh, this is BS, and the market ended up uh, moving lower. Either that, or they just wanted to shake everybody out, and we have got the expiration of the uh, options futures and stock index futures on uh, Friday, so uh, that way they could actually claw a bit back as well if they'd been uh, selling the uh, puts to other people as well, so the premiums would increase. And if you're exposed on that side, then you can uh, get some of the uh, money back off those puts you've taken the other side. In the DAX, uh, looking a bit uh, stronger than the Dow. You can see this uh, moving up uh, overnight. So yesterday, an inside bar, so inside the range, yeah, but struggling with the uh, 50% uh, that we can see there at the moment. So need to get through this in order to move high. Yesterday, we saw the market sell off just before the open in the futures market. We'll see what happens uh, today. In the medium term picture, a bit of a choppy session yesterday. I say the market selling off, then reversing, and then moving back down, waiting for the CPI figures, then back up for the CPI figures, and then uh, following the Dow uh, back down on uh, the overnight. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at with uh, regards to this activity. I've just realized I've not looked at the news for today, so let's just have a quick look. I noticed it uh, on the chart there. We've got uh, CPI from the UK this morning, 2.9. Four uh, previous uh, two. Wow, that's a, a big increase there. Um, so if that comes out, that's going to bring some volatility to the markets. But don't worry, we're all going to be locked up again shortly, uh, and that will uh, hopefully uh, temper the uh, inflation uh, figures as we go uh, towards Christmas where apparently there are going to be food shortages as well so it's going to be an interesting time with regards to uh, inflation numbers in the next few months. Uh, everything else is just the usual stuff. Uh, Empire manufacturing is at 130 then 215 industrial production before the market opens and then just crude oil inventories at 3.30pm. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's just go back to the DAX and uh, let's have a look at yesterday's action. I actually uh, had it recording in the futures market, paused uh, to do something so I didn't capture that on the screen. 
and then forgot to take the pause button off so I'll have to go through uh, the end of day chart uh, for you today so you can see how the market uh, sold off back to the DP level then we opened up on the uh, cash market bringing the market back having dropped 50 points and then we sold off I uh, didn't hold uh, we got to the 200 MA you can see all of the red there the selling volume uh, before the market uh, was uh, brought back rather rapidly, it was a nice trade. I only managed to get uh, 18 points out of this trade because this uh, bar that uh, came back here, this selling bar, uh, came back rather fast for those of you that were actually watching at the time. And then we had a, another retest to the BRN uh, before we see them buying back in and testing to move back to the upside there. Like I say, it was a, an interesting morning. We then had the CPI figures. They'd already been moving the market to the upside. Maybe they'd already got wind of this. Somebody had uh, given the bankers a heads up and the market uh, moved up. And then we had a double top uh, back to this level. And then the Dow opened, did nothing, and neither did the DAX. It was incredibly boring. Then all of a sudden it started to sail to the downside there following the Dow. And if you look at how much the Dow dropped during yesterday, if we just uh, grab that uh, you can see um, we actually dropped uh, 100 200 300 400 500 points uh, yesterday in the Dow and yet the DAX uh, barely uh, moved if we just uh, come back to uh, the DAX there we're just down about 80 points so by comparison you can see the Dow uh, sorry the DAX is uh, a bit stronger overnight uh, price is sideways fairly quiet jumped uh, in the early hours at 1.30 and then has been trading uh, sideways above the DP, above the 200 MA at the moment. But uh, just going back to the 30 minute chart so we can have a look, see where we are. Uh, we've got to yesterday's high uh, just around here at 15,764 and the low is uh, fairly close as well. And that's because, as uh, I said earlier, we've got an inside bar for yesterday. So both the high and the low are very close so in the metals we can see that uh, silver was up yesterday but he's being hammered already on the overnight uh, no surprise there i like i can say they're going to keep hammering this to the downside you can see the trend is is firmly to the downside at the moment and that's the way it's going to continue like i can say i still have an order in to buy at 20 dollars an ounce at the moment i don't see any reason why it should move to the upside they're just going to seize any opportunity to uh, hammer it if they can. Uh, yesterday, gold also moved up. It was a good move, which you can see here, a good uh, $10, $20, $30, $40 move uh, to the upside there, but um, still failing really to, to hold uh, on the overnight as well, just waiting for those uh, CPI figures uh, from the UK at the moment. And the dollar, of course, uh, starting to move back to the upside as well, which is obviously putting pressure after yesterday. You can see it recovered yesterday, uh, moved down and then came back. Um, so I suppose that's actually not too bad a response on silver at the moment, given the fact that the dollar actually came back. So, uh, yeah, interesting. They're trying to reverse it there at the DP. But it's one thirty to 2.30, isn't it? That's when they have all of their fun. And uh, that was the same uh, yesterday. Uh, for the uh, silver market you can see they were already marking it down yesterday morning ready for the inflation figures they would have absolutely hammered this to the downside yesterday if uh, they'd had the opportunity to do so if inflation figures had come out higher and that may be the case and the opportunity they have this morning with the uk inflation uh, numbers uh, due out uh, shortly so we'll wait and see Okay, that's it uh, for this one. If there is anything else to report, I will let you know. But uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.